Home. A place where most of us go to relax, spend time with family, and generally escape the world. Certainly not a place we'd wish to associate with intense fear. Unfortunately, some homes have uninvited guests, and not the kind that you can simply summon the authorities to remove. Join me now as we explore five of the most haunted homes in the world. The Top Files. Our first stop is one of my personal favorites, whose stories have haunted me since childhood, 50 Barclay Square, which is located in the Mayfair area of London. It is regarded as one of the most haunted houses in all of London, and it is speculated that it may have even been built over a plague pit sometime in the late 18th to early 19th century. To give you some historic perspective, plague pits are mass graves in which victims of the Black Death were buried. Legend has it that the attic room of the house is haunted by an aggressive spirit, which has been popularly called the Nameless Horror or the Nameless Thing, and is capable of causing death from fright. On one popularly recorded occasion on December 24th in 1887, Two sailors from the HMS Penelope, Edward Blunden and Robert Martin, broke into the house to seek refuge for the night. At the time, the house was unoccupied. By morning, one of them was found dead, his body left dismembered in the basement. The other sailor had managed to escape the house upon witnessing a dark and shapeless thing enter the room. From 1937 to 2015, 50 Barclay Square was home to the Meggs Brothers, sellers of rare books. Some Meggs employees and customers have reported eerie experiences during those years. For instance, in 2001, an employee reported that while she was in the attic room, she saw a brown mist move across the floor. Furthermore, a customer reported having his glasses yanked off his face as he was climbing the staircase, but there was nothing there. Next, we visit Borgvatnet Vicarage, which is said to be one of Sweden's most haunted locations. The vicarage was built in 1876 in the small northern village of Borgvatnet. According to legend, maids of the vicarage had suffered abuse and their illegitimate babies were killed and buried in the backyard. The first mention of a haunting, however, was from a letter dated 1927, written by a chaplain who was living there at the time. He had experienced a few things he could not explain, like laundry being ripped down from a line. Since, there have been numerous accounts including sightings of spectral women, phantom smells and sounds, objects moving on their own, and people being thrown from furniture. In 2008, ghost investigators had successfully captured electronic voice phenomena in both Swedish and English, as well as experiencing smells, being grabbed and touched, encountering cold spots, and more. The vicarage currently operates as a bed and breakfast, and if you are brave enough to manage and stay the whole night, you will receive a certificate as an award. Here's the address for the adventurous among you. Next we visit what is considered to be Australia's most haunted house, the Monte Cristo Homestead, a historic property located in the town of Janai in New South Wales. The house is said to be haunted by the ghost of Elizabeth Crowley, who lived there alone until her death in 1933. What more, her husband Christopher Crowley, who died in 1910, is also said to haunt the property. There have also been numerous tragedies on the property over the years, such as a maid who committed suicide because she became pregnant with Christopher Crowley's child, and a stable boy who had burned to death in the barn. The current owner, Olive Ryan, has experienced many strange occurrences, such as feeling phantom hands on her shoulders, hearing her name being called, hearing phantom footsteps, and witnessing strange lights inside the house. Furthermore, visiting children have been grabbed and thrown down the stairs, and other guests report strange lights, sounds, and animal mutilations on the property. Today, the house is a tourist attraction, and if you manage to stay the night, the hosts will provide you dinner and breakfast. Here's the address for those of you who dare to try. Next, we visit one of America's most haunted homes, the Myrtles Plantation a historic property in St. Francisville, Louisiana, built in 1796. 
I had actually visited this place as a child, but my folks refused to stay the night. The house is rumored to have been built on an ancient Tunica burial ground and is on record as being the site of at least one murder of William Winter, an attorney who lived in the plantation from 1865 to 1871, who was shot and died trying to climb the stairs. In total, the Myrtles plantation is said to be haunted by at least 12 ghosts, including the ghost of a slave girl named Chloe. There are reports of haunted mirrors, phantom footsteps and handprints, and full-fledged apparitions. Here's the location of the property for those who'd like to take a tour or even stay the night. For our last stop, we visit Kansas's most haunted house, the Sally House, which was built in the mid-1800s in Atchison, Kansas. Its owner was a doctor whose daughter died in the house when he unsuccessfully tried performing surgery on her due to appendicitis. His reason for performing the surgery at home? Sally was an illegitimate child, born from the union of the doctor and an African-American housemaid. As such, he didn't want anyone to know about Sally's existence. Enraged by Sally's death, the housemaid attacked the daughter and she was killed in self-defense. Apparently, both Sally and her mother haunt the house to this day. While Sally is playful and friendly, her mother is vengeful and attacks visitors, especially adult males. There are reports of ghost sightings, moving objects, strange sounds and smells, bedroom curtains catching fire at random while someone is sleeping in the room, as well as visitors being violently scratched or cut or burned. Strange voices of men, women, and children have also been successfully captured via electronic voice phenomena. Here's the address if you'd like to pay the property a visit or even stay the night for a modest fee. Thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel to be notified about the release of all future content. See you all in the next video.